Hi guys, how's it going? I'm going to have to apologize for this absolutely ridiculous contraption that I'm speaking into today, but my clip on mic has literally just broken. This was the only thing I could come up with. So just try to ignore it as best as you can. Today we're going to be doing a rhythm lesson focusing on the right hand and I'm going to be showing how you can incorporate these rhythmic techniques into your lead plane. So we're going to be in standard tuning. Let's grab your guitar and let's jump straight in. Okay, so we're going to start with an A blues progression. We're going to use the three chords. We've got the one chord, the A dominant seven chord. We're going to move over to the D9 chord. And then we've got an E9 chord. So we're going to start with our A7. I've got my thumb on the fifth fret of the E string. We've got first finger, fifth fret D. Third finger, sixth fret G. And then... Uh, middle finger, fifth fret B. And we're going to use this strumming pattern. The focus here is to keep a constant motion with the right hand. And the left hand is pressing down on the chord voicing whenever I want the chord to sound out. And my thumb is constantly resting on that fifth fret E string. So the main thing we want to work on here is getting that constant, consistent right hand rhythm up and down strums. So after the A chord, we're going to move to the D9 chord. We've got 5th fret A string with my middle finger. 4th fret D with my 1st. 5th uh, fret G with my ring finger. And then 5th fret B with my pinky. We're going to do exactly the same rhythm for this one. Back to the A7 chord. So it's the same as the D shape, just moving that shape up two frets. Back down to D. And then finish on the A7. So I'm going to play through slowly uh, 12 bars through the three chords, and then I'll play it up to speed at the end. this figure we really just want to focus on getting that consistent up and down with the right hand and then pressing down with the left whenever you want to voice the chord so once you get used to playing that consistently at slower tempos we're going to try and increase <laughs> that basic four chord blues progression down we're gonna do the same type of thing just change it up with the right hand a tiny bit so we're just going to create a variation with the right hand on each chord here so it sounds exactly the same the only difference here is it just looks a bit cooler so we're just altering that right hand movement at the end so instead of having that constant alternate strumming pattern we're gonna go so we've got 
got down, up, half down, full down, up. Down, up, half, full, up. Down, up, half, full, up. So that movement takes a bit of getting used to, but just keep practicing it really, really slow, just meeting the strings. Sounds quite cool when you get it up to speed. We're going to add that in the middle and at the end of each chord. Again, practice that really slow and then gradually build up the tempo. So this is what would sound like a bit faster. <laughs> So once we're used to playing that constant rhythm with those three chords, we're going to apply the same technique to a pentatonic riff in A. So we're going to be A minor pentatonic first position. We're going to start with something like this. So I've got my thumb on the fifth fret E string. I've got fifth fret D with my first finger. Hammer up the seventh fret. And then I've got double stops on the B and G. Seventh fret, and then fifth fret. So again, notice how my right hand is constantly doing the alternate strums. And then we're going to move over the D, or what would be the D chord. So we've got 5th fret A string. And then we're going to do 5 to 7, but this time on the G. And then we've got double stops again on the G and B, 7th fret to 5th fret. And then we're going to move up to what would be the E chords, or so 7th fret A string. Same thing what we're doing on the D, but this time just moving 2 frets up. Back down to D. Back to A. So a key technique here is sounding out one note while strumming all the strings, especially on that 5th fret hammer up to 7 on the D string. So you want to get used to strumming all the strings, just sounding out one note. So here I'm using my 1st finger on the 5th fret D, and then muting the bottom 3 strings, the G, B and E, with that 1st finger. And then my 1st finger is also muting the A string with a tip. And then my thumb is coming over the E string to mute that. So once you get this technique down, you'll notice it'll bleed into your lead plane to allow you to create more rhythmic lead passages. But 
for now, we'll just stick to A. So I'm going to play through the full 12 bars slow, and then I'll speed it up. Faster. Now we just want to focus on keeping it simple with the notes that we're choosing. Just focus on getting that consistent right hand. So once you're used to playing through those three variations, we're going to put everything together in this final section here. So we're going to include chords, variations with the right hand rhythm, and then single note riffs in the middle. So we're just going to mess around in the A minor pentatonic. So he has a little example. Okay guys, cheers for tuning in. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, it helps me out massively and I'll see you in the next one.